Hello and welcome to PCI Tech TV. This video is a continuation of our Geomatica tutorials. Today's topic is a continuation of visualization and focus. In our last demo, we showed you how to create different views using a single file with multiple channels. Using Geomatica, we can also create multi-channel views from overlapping images that are taken from different sensors or taken at different times. I have a multi-temporal data set over Portland, Oregon, which I'm going to open up and focus. In this case, I'm going to be using two different dates. The first date is May 10th, 2010, and the second date is June 27th, 2010. Now, I've already imported these images using SAR ingest. SAR ingest can be found under Algorithm Librarian. So if I go under Tools, Algorithm Librarian, and search for SAR ingest, I can see SAR ingest is, is found here. So I've already imported these images, and they are stored as PIX files. Now under the Files tab, you can see that I've got each image represented in separate files. And under the Maps tab, I've got both images that are showing, one on top of the other. So I can turn those images on and off and visually look at the changes between the two images. This is the airport in Portland, and I can see some, some pretty obvious changes. There's some other ways I can look for changes. So if I keep those two layers on, and if I go under View, Visualization Tools, now this is something I showed in the last video. If I go under Swipe, and I bump the speed up to a very high speed, what this will do is it'll, it'll basically go across both images and swipe the panel. So just visually you can look for some changes uh, on the two images using this technique. Now I can see some changes over here which uh, are, are a bit difficult to spot because of the way the screen is, uh, is swiping. So I'm going to flip it to horizontal so that I can have a little bit of a longer time to see that change. So we can see some of those things are, are appearing on the two different dates. Now this uh, tutorial is about uh, making a two-color multi-view, which uh, is used in military applications for looking at changes in multi-temporal imagery. Now the way to do that is to create a new layer and use both channels to compose the uh, multicolor composite. I can do that from this button here, or I can go under Layer, Add, and what I'm going to do is create an RGB color composite. So for a two-color multi-view, the first image in the uh, data series is, is put in the red channel. So I'm going to pick the first image, which is May 10th, and select the red and put that in there, and then choose my June 27th image and put that in the green and the blue channels. So we can see now the uh, objects in red and blue are representing uh, objects that are appearing and not appearing on the two different dates. So I can go back to the uh, visualization tools and do some quick comparisons. So if I use the uh, swipe tool, I'm going to look for some of these red objects here. Now the, the layer that's immediately underneath the RGB composite is the uh, grayscale May 10th image. So I'm going to look for some bright spots on the uh, multi-view. So you can see some of these bright objects like this one here. Uh, all of these objects here are appearing as red in the two-color multi-view. So those are bright objects that were present in May 10th and are no longer present in the June 27th image. Conversely, the uh, blue objects are objects that were absent in the first image and then appeared in the second image. So you can see this, this blue area here is dark in the first image and is bright in the second image. If I turn the uh, first image off, if I go under View, visuals, Visualization Tools, and reestablish my swipe with my hand tool, uh, you can see that that area there is, is bright in the second image. So that's a quick uh, demo on uh, using 
um, different images to compose a uh, two-color multi-view and uh, using the power of Geomatica to uh, visualize your, your imagery. Thanks a lot for watching this tutorial and stay tuned for more exciting tutorials on Geomatica.